Well, hello there. Today I wanted to talk to you about all kinds of different fibers that can be used in a wig, in a doll wig, of course. Um, I found out over the years what works and what doesn't. And still I'm finding new fibers that uh, are suitable. Um, and I'm very, very uh, lucky to have um, that possibility to try out different fibers. First of all, um, okay, let me start with the Wensley Day Locks. They are very popular. You have Wensleydale and you have Teeswater, and I must say the difference is min a minimum. They look alike a lot, except that Teeswater has a different way of taking up the dye. It takes up dye somewhat more easily, whereas Wensleydale does it too, of course, but it takes more time and the results are different. I'll show you, I only have one in my possession at this moment, so I will show you what I mean. Those are the Wensleydale long locks. As you can see, they measure about um, normally when I when they arrive at me, they measure about uh, 30 centimeter, but I have to sew them into a weft so there is a little bit of loss and just to be sure that i'm not telling you stories i always say they measure about 25 centimeters average length and that means that they are somewhat longer but i think it doesn't uh, it isn't a problem when it's one centimeter more it is a problem when it is one centimeter less than i promised Okay, this is the only weft I have in my shop right now. Uh, no, I have another one, the Golden Blonde. It's very, very pretty color. Um, and of course, I will be working with this when the shearing season arrives again, and that will be in May 2018. But maybe I will find a farmer that has some fleeces uh, left so I can purchase more. You never know. Um, it takes a lot of time because I go to the farm and, and I look at the fleeces myself because not every fleece is suitable for this kind of work. I need soft long locks that um, are not felted, that are smooth, that I can wash and reasonably dye. So I uh, always go to a farmer to look for myself what he has and if I can use it. Okay, this is for the long locks. Um, in between, I will tell you that I have my um, wefts and my loose locks. You can buy them also in my Etsy shop. So just go there to uh, see what it is, what I have right now. And if you want something that isn't uh, there at the moment you can always send me a P B P M private message and we will see what we can do about it i ship them to the us and my experience is that sometimes they arrive in about two three weeks and sometimes it takes up to five to six weeks i'm very sorry but i can't help that the shipping costs are very reasonable that's not a problem the problem is that you can't rely on the mail services um, in regards to how long it takes. It's never happened to me that it didn't arrive and I'm very glad about that. But I always say if it doesn't arrive in, let's say, six weeks, you will have a reimbursement, of course. That's no problem. So let's move on. These were the long locks. Now, what I have two is locks and a weft let me see whether i have the right one yes from a yearling a yearling is uh well the word says what it is it is um a sheep 
that uh, will be shorn for the second time. That's a yearling. Sheep that are shorn for the second time. So it's um, the first time I will show you right away when I have shown you this. This is a yearling. These locks are, um, let me see where my centimeter is. It's over here. Now when I don't stretch them, of course, I think that's a bit cheating, but when I don't stretch them, they are from weft to length, an average length of 10 centimeters. So that means some locks are 9, some locks are 11, but it is an average length of 10 centimeters. Now as you can see, I didn't dye this. I think white could be very pretty as well. When I know up front that I'm going to dye this, I will sew with the color in which I think the weft is going to be because the thread is um, not taking up the dye. So if I would dye this, the thread would be white. Now that's very ugly. I will show you uh, in a minute how it looks when I used um, the color of the, the thread color of which I'm going uh, to dye the locks in and as you can see these are very soft very curly. I always try to sew um, The locks exactly next to each other. So there are no gaps Sometimes let me see if I can find a spot It could happen that there is a bit of an Space in between I guess I have an example right here as you can see, it looks far more on camera than it is in in real life. It's one centimeter, I guess, less than one centimeter. Uh, that happens. It is made by hand, so that happens. I don't have a problem with it when I'm crocheting the wig or when I'm sewing it right into uh, the doll head itself. Um, but I want to be uh, very, very honest in what I do and what I sell. So you know that up front that it could be that there is a spot which is always not more than one centimeter because if it's more I will sew another lock in place. But this is the yearling in my Etsy shop and I think it's beautiful. Oh, the other thing I wanted to tell you about the yearling is that uh, these locks have been on the sheep uh, for almost a year, not a year exactly, but for almost a year. And that means that the fiber, which is close to the skin, is absolutely white. That's natural fiber. But the tips, and not all the tips, but some tips, have a slight yellow in them. And that's not because they are dirty or something, but that's just because it is a natural fiber. It has been disposed to all elements of nature for a longer time so that's how it is and as uh, some people do bleach them or treat them uh, with uh, with uh, peroxide or something like that I don't do that because it damages your fiber far too much I think I need soft locks and I don't need hard locks so that's just the way it is still crocheted up it looks like a white wig okay so that's the yearling then we have a stage before that, and that is the lamb. I'm looking at my time, still moving on. Okay, that's the lamb. Now this is a brand new sheep, <laughs> and it has been shorn. Sometimes they, they shear their lambs when they're um, born, for instance, in January or February. It happens. Um, then they will be sheared in May, June, because otherwise they would get overheated. Now, the lamb's locks do look more delicate as the uh, yearling and the lamb locks, because they haven't been that long on their uh, skin, let me say it like that, on the animal. They're wider. The, the tips are less yellow than... The yearling. The average length of the lamb locks, let me see, is about, I think, the same. Yeah, it's about the same. It's about 10, in, 10 centimeters. So that is 
lamb locks. Lamb locks are even a bit softer. Uh, and I have them in my shop as well. Okay, then moving on. Um, let me show you how it is when I've dyed. I'm working on a wig right now. It's a prize for a winner of the Mel group. And I'm a little bit behind. Sorry, Alison. It will come your way as soon as I'm ready. Um, as you can see, this strand, this sewing edge, has the same color as the locks, of, or almost the same color. It's a little bit lighter. That's, as you can imagine, the closest to the color of the locks I can uh, know up front before um, dyeing. Um, so these are the yearling dyed up in a kind of um, golden blonde, I guess. I guess so. It's a nice color. And I'm crocheting it into a wig. Maybe in the next tutorial I will show you again how I do it. Um, well, and then it will go to Alison, our prize winner of the previous mall, Mel, of September. So, colored um, wefts will be available in my shop too, as well as locks, 50 grams of locks, because you can do this yourself, sewing a weft, and, well, it's a bit cheaper, of course. But you will find out when you go there. This is another example of... Um, the yearling locks and I dyed this black and mind you it is beautiful when you make a weft of this these are locks I had before let me see because I think they are a slightly a bit longer no 10 centimeters 10 centimeters curled up eh? when I stretch the lock it will be about 15 but curled up, and I think that is what counts, it is about 10 centimeters. So that's that. Now I have a new fiber. It isn't in my shopper already, but I'm very excited. I am trying out a new fiber. Don't mind. Uh, now this is what happens when you have the wrong color. I uh, sewed this black and I dyed this uh, in the color walnut, I guess it was. Or hazelnut I'm not sure but a nice color now this is quite something different and uh, this is just a, a, an example just an, an experience piece and um, just a tryout as you uh, as you see now I'm going to um, make a wig of this myself first I always do that and then show you what it looks like but I'm, I'm I am very excited because it looks like dreads it is a sheep and i won't tell you what kind of sheep because there are a lot of people that steal my ideas and i don't want this this time because this is very original and i'm very proud of it isn't that beautiful i guess it is okay now i am going to stop this video because it is almost 15 minutes and I think I run out of time if I go on um, do I need to tell you more about these fibers no I don't think so I will do a next video on um, alpaca and on mohair so I will be back I hope this is of any use to you and if you have any questions, please do let me know. No problem. Um, so, see you again. Bye-bye.